What's up, Warriors of Goku? Back with some more Dynasty Warriors 9. Means I, uh, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm taking a break. There's no such thing with this game. No, I know, of course, this is all just 100% like optional for me. No one's forcing me to do any of this. But, you know, I do enjoy the game when I play it, and uh, I'm doing it mostly for recording, so it's not like I really play this much off camera as much as I usually do, so it's not a huge deal at the end of the day. But uh, we're going to be hopping in with Zhu Rong. Uh, it's time to do some training for him. It's time to shake up, uh, brush off the dust and uh, try to get more familiar with his like Muso and special attack and everything like that. So I saw his gameplay and even though that technically is supposed to be Ling Tong's weapon, it's still a really, really cool weapon for him. So the Tri-Staff is amazing. Like, it looks amazing and everything. So honestly, because of that trailer, it made me really want to hop in here and play with Zhu Ron. So uh, that's going to be what we're doing. So uh, just a quick reminder, if you all do and end up enjoying the video, be sure to hit the like button and uh, hit the sub button because we are trying to hit 500 subs before summer. So uh, without further ado, guys, let's hop in here and have some fun. All right. Oh, cool. We start off with something boring. Oh wait, was that it? Oh wow, that was really quick. So, uh, we're fresh off the heels of doing a uh, of the, doing the Spirit of Sonata live stream, and uh, thank you to all the, to those of you who uh, stopped by, and to those who uh, tune in after afterward as well. Really appreciate you all. Makes doing live streams very fun and everything. Oh, there's Lucian's really interesting looking attire. So, how do I know where they are for this? I'm so confused. So as for what video of Dynasty Warriors 9 I'll do next, uh, I'll probably just get the training ones out of the way because I, I want to redo Lu Ling Chi because I didn't actually use her weapon. I used the Jubilation Spears just for the sake of the update. And I did, I think I did Zenji's already. Yes, I did. I did Zenji's for the sake of her. Well, Harris isn't even coming out first. Wong Zhong I need to do next. His is coming out after, uh, at, no, at the same time as Zhu Rong's and moving cheese and then I just hit my mic there that's not great and the funny thing is that will be a training video because I haven't touched uh, Huang Zhong yet but I do like Huang Zhong it's a really cool interesting looking kind of reminiscent to you know I'm pretty sure I mentioned this during the Guan Yin Ping video on Tuesday but I thought I'd at least mention it here as well it's a really cool it looks like a really cool weapon. And it's cool that they're giving both the art, both the master archers their, uh, some love. With Jia Hao Yuan getting his bow and rod, and then Huang Zhong getting his bladed bow. Or whatever they're gonna call it. I don't, I didn't even pay attention to that either. Or, well, no, I did, but I'm just really tired right now. I'm doing this right after the live stream. But I thought I'd get it out of the way, just get it done. Uh, one less thing for Dynasty Warriors 9 I have to worry about. Because subconsciously, I'm like, I, I need to do it. I need to do it before, like, all this happens. You don't? But yeah, I just want to get it done now. Just get it over with. That way I can be ready for when the, when the DLC drops. <laughs> And that way I can focus on the other stuff, like Dynasty Warriors and Empires and getting the the backstories done. And then I guess attempt to do that dumb voice acting thing I mentioned earlier in the previous video as well. With uh, voicing some of the characters, if not all the male characters. I'll see how I feel about that one. I'm kind of aiming probably more towards like the younger folk. 
but we'll see how it goes. You're going to probably, hopefully, hear my bland voice transform when I actually give it an e give effort. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, Jirong's fun with this uh, staff and everything, and I was even the one who said, like, well, could just give, like, you know, show you his thing back, and then we can give Ju let Jirong keep the staff. But then I was also thinking, no, Guojia actually looks really good with the staff better, so I would say, hey, uh, let Zhou Yu get rid of his for his Elder Sword, and then let Jirong keep the Tri Staff, I guess, now. And Guojia can keep, the, keep his staff. He, his staff is the most fun of the three. In opinion, of course, but... I find it fun. So we'll just do this, do this probably this whole battle, and uh, depending on how long it is, we'll... We'll uh, just call it a video from there. Messenger? What are you doing here? We're going to attack the face. No. Oop. Where is this guy? Oh, that's bad. Rip. I remember this mission. I think I failed it once. Don't mind me. You. Going somewhere, friend. I think I failed this mission once. I don't remember right off the top of my head. Up, 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 up. Don't mind me. Going somewhere. Well, guess what? Not today. So is he himself not even objective? He's just there? I guess so. Alright. Uh, so I guess we'll do that. Oh, I didn't see this one over here. Capture the important base. Ah, fire. My favorite thing. Over the wall. Wow. Oh, there's still another one I didn't even, I wasn't even thinking. I wasn't even paying attention. I got lucky there's no walls I can jump over here. Your turn. Poor bastard never stood a chance. What a smart fella. I guess next is the bridge. Alright, let's see what we got going on here. So yeah, let me guy let me know what you guys think about the uh, DLC and everything coming out. With uh Ju I think the first ones are gonna be Ju Ron 
Luling Chi and Huang Zhong. So let me know what you guys think about uh, the returning weapons and, an, I guess, new weapon. And then a returning weapon for a new for a newer character. Me personally, they all look really good, and Zhu Rong's looks amazing. He, they really, he really made it like work for him. But I think still at the end of the day, I think I'm still more, a little more hyped for Lu Ling Chi because she's probably my favorite out of the three. So it's really cool to see that returning honestly i mean it's granted it's kind of silly that i know people are gonna probably give the excuse wow they should have been in the games and i agree they should be, they should have already been in the base game and everything so if it was their plan for dlc to become you better be chill freak out over here i don't know what you think you're playing here because i know everyone's gonna probably give that argument well this should have already been in the game into that your argument is valid. I 100% agree. This game this should have already been in. It feels like the game itself was a feeling incredibly incomplete, not just with these weapons that should have already been in the game. Because me, myself, personally, like I've mentioned multiple times, I, myself, don't really mind the fact that they had, air quotes, cloned weapons and everything. Yes, people had the same weapons, but I wouldn't say they were 100% cloned. But... We can go with the clone thing if you guys want to. I personally didn't really mind it because I still found each character to be fun somehow in their own way. But I do agree that making us pay for these DLC weapons when these are weapons that should have already been in the game. If they were new, yeah, I'd understand. Yeah, go for it. Make them DLC. But if half of them are more, well, pretty much no, like all of them almost are just returning weapons. They should have been in the base game, which is why I constantly say that this game definitely came out too early if that's the case. If, they, if, they, if there was a deadline reason for it, then yes, I understand. If there was no reason and they just wanted to do it based off just to earn a profit, that's probably where I would draw the line and be like, well, that's kind of unacceptable. But that's just my personal opinion, of course. I don't, I don't disagree with you guys at all on that. And uh, I share your sentiment. I'm not saying that is the reason to earn a quick buck. I'm not saying it isn't. I can't argue it because I'm not in the mind of them. You stupid. Hep. 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 Got him. That was easy. Appears to be an extremely powerful officer. I remember Dynasty Warriors 5, he was like one of the most persistent character like officers in this game. Like, he was extremely persistent. Like, every time you would defeat him, he would come back, like, stronger, I think, in Dynasty Warriors 5. Like, he was extremely, like, he would not quit. I forgot he has that weapon in this game. Nope. I won him! There we go. Good lord. Okay. You made my clothes dirty. Let's get pelted. Be gone. That's a slash, Jim. I just remember in the older games, like, Cheng Liao and Gan Ning were, like, apparently key players in this. Is Gan Ning even here? He is here, okay. He is very ferocious. If 
but he's not he hasn't even left yet. He's not even advancing out of his area yet. Pop up a PF. Win pin. Good lord, this freaking fire. <laughs> Oh, that was some lag. <laughs> Jesus! He still seems, in seems incredibly strong. Just, uh, just gonna throw that out there. Stop, ruined it. Oh, well, I was already doing that. Oh, well, at least it was the right input. That'll be the end of Zheng Liao. Oh, I guess I missed one outside. <laughs> I gotta beat him with my eyes closed. Okay. Defeat him to lower his morale. I would beat him at his best. Wait, what? Wait, what? My lord! She thought that was it. Oh, that's right. Now I have to get him out of here. Brilliant. I forgot he retreats from this battle. Actually, I forgot about that. Oh dear lord, look how far away it is. It's gonna take like 10,000 years for Sun Chuan to get over there. Did he come back? He sure did. Oh yeah, well, historically though, the bridge was supposed to be destroyed. But then he just hops it. Hop, hop. If you don't chill, if you don't stop running from me. Hip. We're almost there, Sun Twin. Well, it's Sun Twin. Oh, good lord, where did you come from? We can handle him. Are you kidding me? He's a generic looking ass. No, keep running. I got this. I promise you. I promise you. Sun Twin! I got this. See? No problem. Let 
me go take out these guys real quick. Who's up here? Oh, no one important. More generic looking asses. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, this is just where he has to be. Okay. Yeah, that's the spirit. We'll avenge this defeat. Alright. Cool. Alright, guys. So, that was the uh, training with Juron. Uh, pretty, got a good feel for him. Got a pretty decent feel of his uh, his Muso, his Muso, and his uh, well, his aerial Muso at least, and his um, his special trigger attack. But yeah, that weapon, that tri, that tri staff looks really cool. I can't wait to see what the other DLC weapons look like. Uh, hopefully, maybe sometime soon, either today or sometime soon, that maybe we'll see another reveal for either Huang Zhong or Lu Ling Chi, but uh, I, time will only tell. But uh, with all that being said, guys, if you all did enjoy the video, be sure to hit that like button and leave a comment down below as well how you, you feel about the DLC weapons, uh, with them, uh, how they're being released, and uh, if they should have been in the game already, and how they how they look to you, because the gameplay was you wrong, like I said, is really good. And uh, be sure to hit that sub button if you haven't already. Trying to hit the big 500 before summer. So before June 21st, I believe. I lost track of what day that was. But uh, I'll keep, be back on track once I'm fully awake and everything. With that being said, guys, thank you all very much for watching this. Hope you all enjoyed it, and I'll see you all in the next one.